the fuck going on with y'all, man? Welcome back to another episode of Is Your Walking Dead Show. Last time, um, we got some more Negan. It was pretty much a Negan all episode, and I'm not gonna lie, Negan screen time is kind of nice. He's funny, he's a troll, he's got charisma, you know, he's a cool ass dude, okay? <laughs> and I know he ironed a dude's face straight up, had him pass out, and gave him a huge fucking mark like he did Dwight, and he does fucked up shit like that, but I'd be lying if I said I actually didn't like his character. Okay, but we you guys already knew that. And I'm sure some of you feel the same way. All right. He's just he's just a cool ass dude. Um, and last episode, we just learned how cool he is. He's got about uh, he's got multiple wives. You know, everyone bows at him. It's it, it is a, a, a very, you know, uh, primitive and old way to, you know, old tradition as he's doing shit. Um, but I mean, his ego is definitely way up there and he probably feels amazing, you know, and, uh, as, as a fellow man, I, I can only imagine what that feels like, you know what I'm saying? And, and I kind of, shit, it probably feels really fucking good. Okay. Yeah. It's a fucked up situation. Sure. But you know, I'd be lying if I said, damn, what that feel like, <laughs> you know, what I'm, I'm just being honest. Okay. Um, and he just does whatever the fuck he wants. And I low key respect that. He does whatever the fuck he wants. He doesn't care what they think. He doesn't care what no one thinks. It's his way or the highway. That's straight up. Negan's way. Negan's world. We're all just living in it. Okay? So, yeah. Um, was a little bit scared for Carl there. Because Carl literally grabbed a gun. Killed two of his men. And thought everything was going to be all cool. Um, and when, you know, Negan was swinging around Lucille like that. Got a little bit nervy. But at the same time, I, in, in, in the back of my head, I, I was like, okay, he's definitely not going to kill Carl because you can tell Negan likes, likes Carl a lot because he's a fucking kid younger than most people in the world right now probably who's way more badass than probably most of his men as we, as we can see that. Carl's got balls, yeah? And Negan sees that. So if, maybe, if, maybe he has like some kind of plan already plotting in his mind where he's like, yo, I can groom this kid to be my number two. All right. Obviously, that's never going to happen because Carl is Rick's boy and Carl is super loyal and all that type of shit. But, you know, Negan, is, you know, he gets whatever he wants, that type of attitude. Right. Um, so, yeah, last episode, it was just all Negan. It's his world. We can't do shit about it. We're scavenging for him or Rick's out scavenging. Spencer just came back scavenging, came up, came back with a bunch of stuff. So let's see what happens. Currently, Negan is holding up Judith, giving her forehead kisses. And it's kind of weird. OK, so anyway. That's where we are. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. This is um, The Walking Dead, Season 7, Episode 8. Before I do, though, I am a few episodes ahead. And if you guys want to catch those early access episodes, you can go ahead and click that join button down below and become a member of the channel. Okay? If you want full versions of these reactions, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link down below and become a patron. Either or works, whatever you want to do. And of course, last but not least, you can find a link to my Discord server down there as well, where you can come in, join, and say what's up to the community. All right, with that being said, TWD 7X8, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, uh, and hit the noti for the algorithms, and uh, let's go and get into the episode. Go home. Let me take over. No. I'm fine. I told Rick I would watch Judith. I'm going to do that. Good on you, Olivia. Stay strong, girl. Come on. Dude, Negan is just pissing all over Rick's shit. <laughs> so disrespectful. Chad, man. Is hungry. Carl, pass the roll. Please. Jesus. <laughs> Dinner with Negan at five. Oh my goodness. What is going on? He's, he, dude, he's too, why is he like permanent comfy? <laughs> this man is comfortable everywhere he goes, including the DMV. What the fuck? I'll your cards right. Maybe I'll show you where we live. Maybe I'll buy you a sandwich. Oh. Just tell me when. You like watching the haircut? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He does like watching. We I I remember a vividly scene a vivid scene where he liked watching Rosita and Abraham. Okay, that was like a voice some voyeur. Okay, I will. But you call me over. Why? How are you? Good. Good. Now you can go. <laughs> I think you're going soft. I think you're going. <laughs> I love the Morgan and Carol interactions because both of them can can take on 10 men each on some Carol with the assassin Morgan with the stick you know what I mean two of our best fighters Bro, this is a dangerous mission. That boat takes too much water, capsize. And that water is full of walkers. Who knows what's underneath? Oh my god. I hope this supply is worth it. What if it's just nothing? <laughs> that would be troll. Surface. Okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. He's good. I think he's good. He doesn't feel like he doesn't look like he's bit. I really fucking hope not. You have a sore loser. Huh. Looks like the only thing you ran out of was ammo. We gotta get this back now. Yeah. Nice. We came up. I see canned food. I see guns. Maybe some medicine too. No ammo, but we can make ammo. <laughs> okay. We know how to make ammo now. Eugene. So. Good shit. Came up. Unfortunately, you probably gotta give it all to Negan now. God damn. Everything right up until your own life. But either your heart's beating or it isn't. Your loved ones' hearts are beating, or they aren't. We take what they give us so that we can live. You know, I'm waiting for the day or the episode where we're going to see Rick be like, okay, it's time to fight. Right now, he's, he's definitely in, not in that mindset. He even said himself, like, f years, their whole lives doing this shit for the saviors. We know OG Rick does not feel that way. And we're, I'm waiting for that. I feel like it's going to happen. But right now, he is, you know, he's neganed up. I mean, what, what am I supposed to say? Right? But we're, I'm waiting for it. I know it's going to happen. We need Rick to get back into that, 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 that boogeyman mindset that he used to be. You know what I'm saying? So. Also, yeah, fuck the saviors. <laughs> okay. I think you know that too. What exactly are you asking? I'm asking you to help convince Ezekiel to attack the Seavers. To strike first. And destroy them. That's what he's asking? Honestly, I feel very comfortable if Morgan and Carol lead the attack. Because <laughs> they will kill most of the men and women and everyone. They are that fucking good at fighting. So as long as we got them on our side, I'm chilling. But right now, we are we can't do that just yet. We'll create it. Together. And you're a part of that together. Damn. Don't do this. Yo. We need you. What the fuck happened to Father Gabriel's character? Literally was a fucking pussy coward last season. And now look at him. He can fight. He looks mad confident. And he's really good at talking to people. Unlike some confessional, obviously, father type shit. Wow. I love that. His redemption arc went by, like, went by so fast. And now look at his character. God damn. That was fire. That scene? This is something I am not a part of. <clears throat> you don't have to fight. You just have to convince Ezekiel to bring the kingdom to fight. 
You're not understanding me. I didn't want you, I didn't want Ezekiel or Morgan coming here, and I don't want anything to do with your lives or your deaths. I just want to be left alone. Damn. She keeping it real. That's what she wants. We should respect that, right? I feel like we, we, we're going to need... I'm sorry this, if this sounds messed up, but we're going to need Killer Assassin Carol in the future. I know we will. <laughs> Just like we're going to need Boogeyman Rick. We're going to need them back. Not right now, but eventually we're going to need them back. Maybe even Clear, maybe even Clear Morgan comes back. Oh, that'd be fire. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Probably not because he's on that high keto shit, but eh, that'd be, that'd be kind of cool. Clear Morgan comes back, clears out some saviors. Oh, shit. How? By trying to get closer, even just to start trying. If I can do that after a while, maybe months, maybe years, maybe then we try something. That's what my mom would have done. So that's what I'm gonna do. Hey. Honestly, good shit, Spence. He's doing what I wanted Daryl to do. He wants to get close. Then some time goes down the line. We hit him where it hurts. That's what he wants to do. That's what he just said, right? Okay, Spence, let's do it. You know Daryl's capable. Listen. And he don't trust no one. I'm just trying to get by. Especially after what he's been through. Yeah, Yo, you did, bro. <laughs> sorry, 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 Fat Joey. Is that his name, right? Oh shit. Oh. 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 Okay, he's dead. Probably wants to get a few waxing because Fat Joey was part of his detainment. But at least we got Jesus here to help Daryl with the escape. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Whatever you're trying to do, you can't. You still have some choices. Go home. Burn this car. Roll it down into a lake. Make it disappear. There's a silencer in the glove compartment. Oh, shit. Wow. She knows what's up. You gotta imagine she's also been hurt by the saviors, and, and that's why she joined them. Wow. That was a real-ass moment. Holy shit, dog. That is good. You know, the only thing missing is the pool table. Nothing better than a good game of eight ball. True. The house across the street has one in the garage. Oh, Spencer. You may just be my new best friend. Oh, God. <laughs> it's working. The ass kissing has begun. This is how Spencer does things. You know what? If it's for the greater good and, and, and the end result, kiss his ass, Spence. A couple years down the line, we'll get him eventually. <laughs> Run along to Negan Rick. Oh! Friend here. He's got no place to be. Speak your mind, Aaron. Why did you, why did you just freeze up, man? Fucking oh god. Dude, uh... That's the saddest story I've ever heard. Good thing for you, he's not in charge anymore. Doesn't matter. His ego's out of control. He'll find a way to screw things up. To try and do things his way to take over. That's what he did with my mom. That's what he'll do again. I didn't know he was gonna talk down Rick like this and throw him under the bus. I do not like this. Don't you know what I'm thinking? Because I... <gasps> really? Holy shit. Oh my god. That shit came out of nowhere. Damn. But hey, I guess Negan knows a snake when he sees one. But he didn't deserve that. Oh my god. Come on. I was winning. Uh, Mama? What? Rosita? Oh, I forgot she had a gun on her. And she got one bullet. Shit. Wait. What the she missed? Bro, what are the odds? She, 
Rosita missed? She's a shooter. It hit the bat. That's what they said. Dude. Unlucky. Have it your way. Barat. Kill somebody. What? No. It was me. No! <gasps> Hi. Is that Olivia? Rosita, you... <sighs> this is why we can't do solo missions, man. We're getting people killed doing solo missions. Spencer being a fucking snake. Rosita trying to kill Negan herself. We can't do solo missions. Please work together, guys. People are just, just gonna keep dying. I thought we learned that the first time. I'm pissed. Olivia did not deserve that. She was the sweetest. God damn it, bro. Because you're still in serious, serious hole after today. Let's move out! No, 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 please, just take me! Oh, they're taking him. I thought they were gonna beat his ass. I guess that's better. Um, great. Another chance of us winning. Now we can't make bullets anymore. Now he's going to make bullets for Negan, dude. Okay. Our chances of winning just keep dwindling. And it doesn't help that our people are doing solo missions. Like stupids. Oh my god, dude. Teamwork. Dreamwork. Okay. Yeah, he's pissed. He's not Boogeyman Rick, but it looks like he's on his way. He wants to fight. Also, have I said enough how much I love Michonne? Oh my god. What a fucking queen, man. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm swooning for Michonne right now. God damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got Daryl back. Oh. Oh, shit. What a small moment yet. I'll get emotional. <laughs> we got Daryl back. I forgot. And he's chilling at the hilltop. He probably needs to hide there. Because if Negan sees... Oh, dude. If Negan notices Daryl gone, that's bad for us. That means we gotta fight soon, maybe. <gasps> a gift to a brother. His cult python? Is that, is that what they call it? That's what Fat Joey had on him? <laughs> oh yeah, that's his weapon of choice. It was not the hatchet. That's Rick's original weapon of choice. Ooh, we like those. Yes. Give me some more triumphant music in the background. <laughs> Let's fucking go! Okay, well, honestly, love to see it. Love to see it. So that episode was interesting. A lot of things happened, honestly. Near the end, but a lot of things happened. Um, Spencer, while I did like his plan, I didn't know he was gonna throw Rick under the bus and try to get Rick killed. Yeah, don't agree with that. And honestly, a little bit of my bit, a little bit of me um, thinks that Negan knew how much of a snake Spencer was, and he and because it seems like Negan's a good judge of character. Wait, is that the right is that the right phrase where he can tell who's who's like cool and who's not? You know what I mean? Um, it seems like Negan knows. I mean, he's already done it. He knows Daryl's about it. He know he know Daryl's very capable. 
he knows Carl's a badass, and that's why he's taking a liking to them. So with that with that logic, Negan probably knows like this Spencer guy's probably some kind of fucking pussy, and that's why I killed him. That's why I killed him. Sucks for Spencer, you know. Sure, he was a snake, but he didn't have to go out like that <laughs> with his guts fucking spilling. Jesus Christ. Who didn't have to die was Olivia. She didn't have to die. Fuck. Is that on Rosita, man? First of all, that's the first time that Rosita has missed. It hit the bat. It hit Lucille. What are the fucking odds, man? I guess, honestly, the story would be kind of boring if Negan wasn't dead. Because he's a pretty cool character. You know, he kind of... Negan's screen time is low-key fire. Um, she missed. And then she, she got Olivia killed. Bro. Someone dies every time someone goes out on a solo mission. We should have learned that a long fucking time ago. No more solo missions, goddamn. This is a team effort. We fight together. Please, Sasha. I hope she's the last one that wants to do something, right? Hopefully she, she has learned from what has happened and not go on a solo mission. She is our best shot. But she needs to chill. No more solo missions. I can't take it. Someone just dies every time. It's not worth. Even if it goes down, someone's going to die again. It's got to be a team effort. Um, I do like the ending. where I, And I was even talking about it during the episode where I was like, man, I need Rick to change his mindset you know, just a little bit. He needs to get back to that boogeyman Rick. And while he's not back at it now, he is with his cult back. A brother the brother gift from Daryl, who we have back finally. Uh, via Jesus um, I think it's time to start planning and plotting you know we can scavenge for the saviors that's something we can do okay and we're gonna have to work overtime to scavenge and to hide any oversupplies guns ammo drugs medicine food that we can get for ourselves okay so yeah we're probably gonna have to work overtime for like a long while but if it's if it's enough to beat the saviors then it's worth because fuck them they are so unhinged and so messed up what the hell sure their only redeeming quality is they have a cool leader <laughs> and I, i'm sorry i keep saying that but he is he's cool as fuck um but damn they're all just a bunch of assholes they just kill without even hesitating and think everything is theirs. It's it's terrible. It's terrible. And we need to get rid of them. Okay? So everyone else can actually live a fucking decent life in the zombie apocalypse. It's not fair. It's not fair. So, um, the ending of the episode with the music in the background. Great choice of music, by the way. I'm looking forward to see how we do this. Because now it's time. This is the, the, the mid-season finale, yeah? 7x8 and then, yeah, okay. Good. Let's see what they do next. Anyway, that's going to be it for the reaction, guys. I'm out of here. Thank you for watching. Um, if you want access to early episodes uh, that I've already already released because I'm a few episodes ahead, you can go ahead and click that join button down below and become a member of the channel. Okay. And if you want full versions of these reactions, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link down below and become a patron. Either or works whatever you want to do. You can also find a link to my Discord server down there as well where you can come in, join, and say what's up, all right? With that being said, I am out of here. Y'all have a good one, and I will see y'all for the next episode of The Walking Dead. Night, peace!